The conscious choking infant has now become unconscious, so I'm going to activate 911 if it's not already done. Nipple line, two fingers on the sternum, and now I'm going to start my 30 chest compressions at least a third of the depth of the chest. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Now I'm going to look into the mouth and see if I see the object. I don't see the object, so I'm going to go ahead and attempt a rescue breath. I move the baby's airway into a neutral position and try a breath. No chest rise and fall. I'm going to reposition the head and try another rescue breath. Still no chest rise and fall. I'm going to repeat the 30 chest compressions. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now I look back into the mouth of the baby. If I see an object, I'm going to sweep it out with this, my pinky finger and I'm going to attempt another rescue breath. Neutral position of the airway. I cover the nose and mouth with my mouth. I do see the air go in because I saw the chest rise and fall. So I give a second rescue breath. I see the chest rise and fall but the baby does not seem to be breathing spontaneously or moving. I'm going to continue with my 30 chest compressions, followed with two more rescue breaths, followed by 30 more chest compressions, and I'm going to repeat that cycle until either the baby revives, EMS arrives, an AED arrives, or someone equally trained or higher comes and takes over.